Morning everybody, how are we doing? And welcome back to another video. And I've got some bad news. This video is unscripted, which means it could go on for a very long time, but it'll be entertaining, I'm sure. Today though, I want to talk about RGB. Take products like this. It's the Logitech G900. It's my favorite mouse. I've been using this for hundreds and hundreds of hours on games like PUBG, and I love it. But it's got RGB lighting on it. But other than adding cost, it doesn't really do anything because as soon as you start using it, yes, you can't see the lighting anymore. And especially as this is a wireless mouse, it just drains the battery and it's sort of pointless. Then we have something like this, which I really like. It's Corsair's Lighting Node Pro. And this goes in your computer and it can be used to sync up RGB lighting and then control it with your PC. So things like fans and it comes with an RGB strip kit that can be used to make some very pretty effects. But ultimately it will not impact your gaming performance and what if you are like me and you put your PC under your desk to minimize on noise? Well, it doesn't really add that much to your setup. So what about this then? This is the new RG Aura Terminal and Asus has sent this out a couple of weeks ago and I've finally got the chance to actually sit down with it and have a little play. The whole idea behind the terminal is to bring comprehensive RGB lighting to your setup, whether that's inside your PC, throughout your desk, or behind your monitor. The kit is currently priced at around £70 at the time of filming and holds a central hub, three RGB strips and cables for connecting it all together. Two of the strips contain 15 nodes and are 30cm long, while the third is 60cm long with 30 lighting nodes. You can add more strips for a total of 90 per channel with an overall maximum of 210 RGB nodes combined. If you're using this inside a PC, then you'll need a free USB header on your motherboard and a Molex connector on your power supply. If you're going down the setup route though, as I am here, you'll need to connect this to the mains and then to your computer via a standard USB-A port. You can mount the strips wherever you see fit and it's nice to see that they attach magnetically. Unfortunately though, there's no adhesive pre-applied. So while you do get plenty of 3M tape in the box, you'll have to apply it yourself, which is a real pain. Now I've fixed all three of the strips to the back of my 38 inch ultra wide monitor. And while it did fit together pretty perfectly, in order to use the Halo software, you actually need to connect each strip to a unique channel on the hub. And therefore you're going to need to have a cable for each strip so it's bound to get messy. Overall though, I would say that installation is pretty simple and I think I had it up and running in around about half an hour. And as you can see through the magic of editing, we are ready to talk about some of the effects. Now there's actually a few basic patterns that don't need a computer at all, but the system really needs that USB connection to unlock its full potential. You want to download the Asus Aura software to get this going, and it's here that you can customize each strip. You can synchronize the lighting with other ASUS peripherals as well, and there's so many effects to choose from. And because each strip is addressable, the strip can be multiple colors at the same time, so you can get some moving effects that really do look awesome. But while the software is fairly easy to use, it does have a bit of a glaring issue at the time of filming, as you can't actually alter the lighting of this on its own if you have other ASUS peripherals. So you're going to have to have the same effect across your entire ROG ecosystem. But you can work around it with a few individual Aura apps for maybe the graphics card and then another Aura app uh, through Armory for the peripherals. But as you can sort of guess, this is a real pain as I want my computer and keyboard to be colorful while having like a tasteful white bias light behind my PC monitor. Yet alas, this is just not very doable at all. I have to say that if you use Corsair's IQ software, while it does take a bit of getting used to, it's so far in front at this current time and ASUS really need to catch up. If you have put the strips behind your monitor like we have done here though, you can get some reactive lighting and to do this, you'll need ASUS's Halo software. I have to say that I was surprised with just how easy it is to use as all you need to do is download and install the app and then configure where your strips are on your monitor and in what orientation. The only requirement for it to work is a dedicated graphics card. Once you've got it all set up, you'll then see that the color behind your display will be mapped out depending on what's going on on your screen. So if you have a red wallpaper, then your screen will go red. And I have to say it's a really cool effect and it works pretty flawlessly with wallpaper engine and it adds some serious edge to your desktop setup. But I know what you're thinking, it's not really marketed as that. This is more a product that is for movies or games and it can paint your wall with colored light. And I do sort of like the theory behind this, but we actually saw this almost 10 years ago 
Philips did this, they called it like Ambiglow and they built it into their TVs. And it just has the effect of blasting coloured light against the back of the wall, but it ends up just being a little bit distracting. Now I can quite easily throw up some footage of myself playing PUBG with this and I'm sure it'll look awesome on camera. But to me, in person, it's just not really very natural. The lighting just reacts slightly after the changes in game, and especially something like PUBG where it's very frantic and you're changing the camera all the time. It's just not quick enough and it just doesn't really feel very nice to be honest. Now slower paced games do work a lot better and if you're doing something like a 2D side scroller I think it will work really well. But while it's definitely a very sellable concept and I'm sure there can be some great press shots of all of this working really well, I don't really think it's something that most people would really want to use after they've done the initial trying out. It's not a completely flawless product then, but as long as you forget about the whole flashy business and Asus do improve upon the software, I think it's a really really nice bit of kit, as as long as you're focusing on adding ambient lighting to your setup, it really is a great way of doing it. There's loads of flexibility, and it's relatively affordable. Place it behind your monitor, and it can be a healthy white bias light when you're at your desk, and then a colourful light show when you're entertaining or grabbing some shots for Instagram. Or you can just stick it behind your speakers, under your desk, and then just have a nice colourful but maybe a calmer light show that can just add mood to your room. Just be a little bit careful if you're buying into the whole Halo thing, as I wouldn't really say it's quite where it needs to be to really work, and even if it did, it's not something that would interest me and I'm sure a lot of people will find that while it sounds cool, it's not really that practical. But if you do want to check out the Asus Aura Terminal, I think it's still on pre-order at some places, but I'll leave links down in the description below for you. A massive thank you to Asus REG for sponsoring this channel, but as always, this video is my own. If you have any questions, then please leave them down below. In the comments section, hit the like button too while you're down there, and get subscribed to more videos just like this. I know loads of people are going to ask how I get the moving backgrounds and I've sort of already mentioned it but it is Wallpaper Engine. You can find my video all about it in the top right hand corner of the screen or in the end screen. But thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.